There was a donkey on the farm. E I E I O. Of a bugaboo there and a bugaboo there. Everywhere bugaboo. Old MacDonald had a farm. E I E I O. Bugaboo donkey! Hi, I'm Holly Schultz from BabyGizmo.com, and this is the Bugaboo Donkey. Now, the Donkey is Bugaboo's most highly anticipated double stroller. It's actually a mono to duo to twin stroller, otherwise known as a convertible stroller or one that goes from single to double. This, this stroller, it's hot. It is the most expensive double stroller on the market right now. Let's take a look. Now, let's take a look at it in mono mode first. Now, let's talk about the seat. The seat. It's a roomy seat. It's 11 inches wide, so it's not the widest seat on the market, but it has a tall seat back of 20 inches. And it has an even taller seat back to canopy measurement of 25 inches. Now, it has a weight capacity of 37 and a half pounds, which pretty much 40. Now, here is our 21 month old in the seat. He's 25 pounds and fits perfectly. Here's our four year old. Now he's 40 pounds, so he's at the, the max weight limit. And he fits as well. Now, as you can see, his head barely brushing the canopy, but he fits. Now, the seat, it has a padded five point harness. And what I like about the harness, it's a no rethread harness. All you have to do is slide it up and down as your child grows. So that is really great. And it's very, very easy to adjust just by pulling on the strap that's going to tighten it. And the buckle, it doesn't seem that hard to do, but for some reason my four-year-old can't figure it out, so I love that about it. Now, it has this removable bumper bar. It is removable. It is not a swing away, but it is removable very easily. It has this footrest down here. As you can see, this is our four-year-old's feet on the footrest. He has plenty of room, so it is a comfortable seat. Now, before I finish the seat, I know you can't keep your eyes off the basket. It has a basket up top. Now, for some people, it might take some getting used to. I love it. Why? Because it has I have access to all my stuff up top as opposed to digging in the basket underneath. Now, it is a question. Will your older child be able to reach inside the basket? Well, sure. You just got to make sure he doesn't. Now, let's get back to the seat. The seat has a two position recline forward facing, and I love the fact that it's a one handed lever. Pull it up, that's upright. And it goes halfway back now to reverse the seat. So easy. And what I love, it is, has memory locked. Everything, which is a cute little um, aspect of the stroller, everything that is white has a function. So as you can see, the two buttons are white. I push one. I can do it with one hand. It's going to remain clipped down. Push the other one. Pops right up. So if I have my child in uh, my hand or something else, I can do it one-handed, which I love. Swing the seat around. And it's, this is going to be the fully reclined um, position. Now, this is for folding. Now, you wouldn't put your child like that. But actually, what Black Bugaboo says is it's perfectly flat, so it's not bad for them. But I probably wouldn't put my newborn. So you have, that's the, the fully reclined position. Halfway and upright. So if you have three positions facing mom, two positions facing out. Let's talk canopies. The canopy on the donkey, it's a full coverage canopy. It's very, very large. One thing it is missing though, it doesn't have a peekaboo window. Why? Fancy people don't use peekaboo windows, I suppose. So no peekaboo window and, but if you want to put it back, it goes halfway back as well. Now the handle, it is fabulous. All you have to do is unclip both white clips and it's going to telescope all the way down to 33 inches. This is a very short handlebar for shorter parents and siblings that want to help push. But if you pull the handlebar all the way out, it goes to 42 inches from ground to handlebar. And what I like, 42 inches, it comes out at me as opposed to going straight up. So you are never going to hit the back of the stroller with a long stride. And another question is, would the kid, the child um, in the seat kick my legs as I was walking? No way. This handlebar is so high that I'm very, very far from the child in the seat. So there is no contact whatsoever. Now, storage on the donkey, there's plenty of it. Why? Because donkeys can carry a lot of stuff. This top basket, it's great. Plus, you know what's even better is it pops out. So if I'm a city mom, and it has handles that snap in here. So if I'm a city mom, I can pop this out and actually take it with me on the go and pop it back in what I'd like. Now, there's still a basket underneath, so that's not your only storage space. Let me just take the C off to show you that you have a whole other basket down here. Now, this basket, very, very roomy. Um, I can get my large diaper bag in there. You're going to have the seats here, of course, to um, have feet in the way, but you've got a lot of room. There's a lot of mesh pockets in here to, you know, keep small items secure. 
and you have a large mesh pocket at the front as well. So lots of room in the basket, lots of room in the upper basket as well. Now the Bugaboo rolls on air-filled 10-inch tires in the front. They are swivel wheels, but they also have the ability to lock straight. This button, the white one of course, flip it down and that's going to lock it into place for rougher terrain. Now the rear wheels, they are 12 inches and what I love is the Bugaboo gave me an air, our air pump. That's right, if it's air filled tires, I want the air pump. So Bugaboo gave us that, so if I need to, you know, maintain the air pressure. Um, one thing about the stroller is it doesn't have suspension like you would have on a normal stroller because the suspension is built into the air filled tires, kind of like a bike. So it absorbs the bumps, but you're not going to see the fancy, you know, suspension system because it's inside. There's a leaked rear brake. All you got to do is step down on the white step and then lift it up with your toe, and it's so easy to do that you could do it with foot pots on. Now, the maneuverability on the donkey, it is fabulous. They must sprinkle some kind of maneuverability magic on Bugaboos because they are the easiest stroller to push available. I am telling you, it's not just a one-handed push, it's a pinky push. I could pretty much push it with my breath. It is so easy to maneuver. I can zip this thing around one-handed with no problem at all. Now, you know, at some point you're going to take the donkey out in the rain, and it comes with a rain cover, which I love because it's easy to put on, and it's full coverage. It protects my complete canopy. Put it on the back, then just loop it around the bottom footrest of the seat. You got yourself there a full coverage canopy, and what I love is this little peekaboo window, so your child can get some air, look out, and it does close, but it vents, which is kind of fun, so the air still goes up and in, so it doesn't get too stuffy in there. Now, in mono mode, it also comes with the bassinet fabric to turn your seat into the bassinet. I love you. Move your canopy over, and it is a very, very roomy bassinet, which I love. So this is great for strolling around with your newborn. Um, and you can also unattach the bassinet, same way, one hand, to take your child inside with you. So it's a really great bassinet um, to go with your donkey. Now, folding the donkey in mono mode, very easy to do. Make sure your canopy's back. Make sure your lock is locked. Make sure your handlebar is down. And pull up these two white levers on either side, the handlebar is going to go down. Then you need to go to the front and you're going to kind of squish the donkey together like that. Now it has a standing fold and um, that's the most compact it's going to get. Of course, we can take this, the seat off and you can take the basket off and that's going to make it an even more compact package. Now we weigh the donkey and in mono mode it is 33 pounds so it is quite heavy. Now I'm holding the stroller pretty easy to do. Just pull out your front wheels. You gotta lift on those white buttons again to pull up your handlebar until it locks into place. Now I know what you're thinking. It's a wide stroller in mono mode. Not really. It's exactly the same width of the Bugaboo Chameleon which is their single stroller. It is 23 inches. Why do you think? Because the the handlebar is actually the widest part on the stroller, 23 inches. So it actually fits right through a standard door with no problem. Now the main feature of the donkey and what everybody is so excited about is that it is a convertible stroller that goes from mono to duo for two children. So it obviously it's a Bugaboo's double stroller. So it is very easy to expand it and it's just, it expands to a side by side. So this is genius. It is different than any stroller you're going to see. Now there's three white clips. One on the handlebar, one by the wheels, and one by the front wheels, all you have to unclip. Then there's a white button right in between the seat and the basket. I'm going to press that in while I'm pulling the stroller apart. Now, all I have to do is pull the stroller apart until it clips. Clip my white pieces back, one on the handlebar, and one at the bottom and it turns into the duo. Now you could leave the basket attached. Um, it's just going to widen the basket out, give you a lot more room uh, with the seat. But what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put a second seat there or maybe a bassinet. So you're just going to get rid of this, make sure you store it somewhere while it's in duo mode. And here is your spot for your second seat. Now in duo mode you're going to get the frame, you're going to get the second seat with the bassinet set as well. I'm going to show it to you with the bass one bassinet and one seat. This is for children of different ages the bassinet in the position and there you have a full-size double stroller. Now what is fabulous about it, it's only 29 inches. It glides to a standard doorway um, because the widest part is over here so no problem at all. 
Now when your baby outgrows a bassinet, you can turn it right into the second seat and put them side by side. They obviously have two separate seats, two separate reclines, and what I like a lot is that you can independently reverse them. So if one child wants to look at mom and the other one wants to look out at the world, you can reverse them. They can both look at you, they can both look out, or they can be one, one of each. Now, you can fold the donkey in duo mode with both seats attached. Now, that's something different for Bugaboo, because normally you have to remove the seat, fold the chassis, and the seat as separate pieces. Um, not with the donkey, so make sure it's locked. Make sure your handlebars are all the way down so you can have that great standing fold. Lift your two white buttons, let it go down, come to the front, and squish the pieces together, and there is your um, folded donkey. Now, it's not small and it's not light. It is 38 and a half pounds, but that's pretty average for an all-terrain stroller. And the donkey does go through all-terrain, so you know what? It's worth it to have all the features that the donkey gives you. Now, another fabulous feature of the Bugaboo Donkey, just like the other Bugaboos, is that you can put it in a two-wheel mode, which is perfect for sand and snow. All you have to do, lift your white levers, push your back wheels in, and that's going to make it roll on the rear wheels. This is going to be fabulous. And you're going to pull it through the sand. That's the easiest way to do it. So sand and snow, this, this stroller is going to be perfect. Now, maneuverability with the Donkey in dual mode is same as Mono mode, it is so easy to push. And with those air filled tires, it's really going to tackle all terrain. I've gotten it through sand at the beach. I can get it over cobblestone, playground mulch. It tackles everything. So, and obviously, like I said, easy to push. Two children aboard near the weight capacity, and I can still push it one handed on smooth surfaces. So, there is no better maneuverability than the Bugaboo. Now, the donkey, it also works as a travel system as well. In mono mode, you can do either a Graco or a Maxi Cozy. Now, in duo mode, you can do a Maxi or a Graco, uh, a Maxi Cozy or a Graco, one seat, one car seat. Now, the great thing about it is it actually takes two car seats. Now, it only takes a Maxi Cozy, and it's going to stack them stadium style. But the one big thing about that is if you have two car seats on the frame, it's going to widen the frame. It's going to be wider than a standard doorway. So just don't think you're going to be zipping through those standard doorways when you have two car seats aboard. But it's a great feature and a unique feature to actually take two car seats. Now there's one quick thing I want to add. If you have one of the other Bugaboo styles, such as the Chameleon, those seats are not interchangeable with the Donkey. The Donkey seats only fit the Donkey. The Donkey's perfect for every outing. Here it is, out and about. Now the Bugaboo Donkey, it is the hottest talk in stroller talk right now. If Oprah had two kids, she'd probably have the Bugaboo Donkey. It's that hot. Now, I absolutely love the tall handle. I love that it goes through a standard doorway. I like all the storage space in mono mode. And I love the fact that it goes from mono to duo to twin mode. The only thing I'm not crazy about is the bulky fold and it's a little bit heavy, but other than that, it is stocked with luxury features. And this is the review of the Bugaboo Donkey by Holly Schultz of BabyGizmo.com. That was the Bugaboo Donkey. See you next time. For even more news, product reviews, videos, and giveaways, and to find the best prices, go to BabyGizmo.com or visit our blog at RatedByMom.com.